Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to solve the long awaited question, question 20 from the KCC Math 2021 paper two. So the topic for this question is the earth as a sphere. So let's go on and do the question then. First, before anything, we need to read the question guys and make sure you underline all the important points so we are told an aircraft took off from point a which is this one x degrees north 15 degrees east at 720 hours local time it flew due west to another point b x degrees north 75 degrees west a distance of 5005 kilometers from a after a stopover of 1 hour 30 minutes at point B, the aircraft took off and flew for 3 hours 40 minutes due south to a point C. The aircraft maintained an average speed of 910 km per hour for the journey from A to B and also from B to C. Now we are given pi as this, the radius of the earth is this, and we are asked to calculate the position of B, position of B, we need to determine the local time at point C when the aircraft arrived. So there is a lot of information here, why don't we put that on the diagram, okay, to make it easy and visible. All right, so first thing first, point A, it is at X degrees north. Now, that angle starts from the equator, guys. So that is zero, we don't know where X is, so I'm just going to say my X is over here. So that's X degrees north. And then I'm going to draw in my latitude because you know the first angle actually tells the position of the latitude and the second one is a position on the longitude. So that is my X degrees north. Now I need to go and put in 15 degrees east. Okay, so we start from the prime meridian, which is zero degrees. Going that way is zero onwards, eastwards. Going this way is west. So we want to go 15 degrees east. Let's say this is our the longitude that is 15 degrees east. That means A is right here where these two cross each other. And then we're told it flew, this aircraft flew due west. It went west to another point B, which is X degrees north, 75 degrees west. Guys, you will see you have x degrees north here you have x degrees north here this is a position of the latitude it means a and b are in the same latitude so now i'm just going to draw the longitude which is 75 degrees west from my prime meridian so let's say this is my longitude and I'm going to label it, it is 75 degrees west, and that means my B is right here where those two cross each other. All right, guys, and then this airplane or aircraft went down to point C somewhere. We don't know if it is uh, before the equator or not, but I tell you what, I'm just going to put it there, somewhere there. That's where this aircraft landed. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to find the position of point B first. And now I'm going to show you the angles, what looks like these angles between A and B. So this is the center of my, um, my latitude. And if you draw the radius from there to there, and then another radius from there to there, remember guys, this is the center of this latitude which is going to be right at the prime meridian okay so this angle here is 15 degrees and this one here is 75 degrees which means the angle of this the angular difference between a and b is 90 degrees 75 plus 15 degrees and we know this aeroplane went along here and the distance is what 
5,005 kilometers, guys. This is the radius of our latitude. Now let's go and do some math now, guys. All right, guys, so you know what is going on with the diagram. I'm now going to draw my latitude. Okay, nice circle there. So this, the yellow one here, this is my latitude, which is X degrees north. And this is the center of my latitude. And I'm going to say A is located there and B is located there. Guys, in the middle, what you have? You have your prime meridian, zero degrees, right? And on this side is your east. So that point is 15 degrees from the prime meridian and point B is 75 degrees west. That means this angle here is 90 degrees. We know from A to B, what's the distance there? 5,005 kilometers. The radius of this latitude is given as R cos theta, guys. Okay, because R is the radius of the Earth, theta is the angle, the position of the latitude. And that is what we're after, guys. All right, all what you have here is just an arc length, guys. So I'm just going to draw this arc length, okay? Don't stress yourself. This angle is 90 degrees. You know this is B, this is A, this is the radius of your um, latitude, which is R cos theta. You know the distance from there to there is 5,005 kilometers. Let's go and put in all these details on the formula so you know the arc length is given as alpha where alpha is the angular difference between a and b and then three out of 360 degrees so that this means it's going to give you the proportion of the circumference so times 2 pi r which is the circumference so times 2 times pi we are told to use 22 over 7 times the radius of this um, latitude which we know we can use radius of the earth time cos theta guys we're going to put in all the values that we have and find theta all right guys so i know my arc length in terms of distance is 5005 so that's 5005 kilometer this is going to be equal to alpha which is 90 degrees divide by 360 degrees and then multiply by 2 multiply by 22 over 7 times radius of the earth which we are told to use 6370 multiplied by the cos theta guys i'm going to rearrange this very quickly so i'm going to make cos theta the subject and i'm hoping you know what to do okay so cos theta is going to be equal to multiply these ones so across so it's going to be five thousand and five times 360 degrees times seven everything divide by 90 times 2 times 22 times 6370 if you work this out guys you will get 0 0.5 so cos theta is equal to 0 0.5 which means theta is going to be equal to cos inverse of 0 0.5 it's going to give you 60 degrees so therefore the position of b guys position of b is let me write it properly is what do we know now 60 degrees north and 75 degrees west so guys this is quite a lot of writing here but i hope you understand and you manage to follow me for this part let's go and do part i i all right guys so now we're going to find position of point c now point uh, this aircraft is moving from b to c on the same longitude 
but because it is moving downwards southwards it is going to be in the new latitude and that is what we need to find the new latitude position of this latitude guys i'm not sure if it's going to be under the equator or not but somewhere there but we can draw in the radius what radius will this be well because we are traveling along this longitude the radius is going to be the radius of the earth so i'm just going to take that and draw the uh, the sector over here okay so this is the center of our earth guys and then we have radius of the earth and then here what do we have we have our sector this angle we don't know i'm just going to call it alpha and this is point b and this is point c the radius of the earth is right there same on this side and this distance which we don't know distance equals what so we have two unknowns here we can't just go ahead and find alpha can we we need to find this distance what because we have what do we have we have the time and we know the speed of this aircraft we to were told speed is equal to over here 910 kilometers per hour and it took three hours 40 minutes to go from b to c so guys speed is distance over time so we're going to make distance the subject is going to be equal to speed times time so before we can use the time we need to change these minutes into four um these 40 minutes into hours how do we do that so 40 minutes guys is going to be equal to 40 divided by 60 and that's going to give you the hours which is equal to 0 0.67 hours and then we add our uh, hours so the total time then t is going to be three hours point six seven hours okay so now we can go ahead and put in in our formula so distance is going to be equal to speed which is 910 times 3.67 which is going to be equal to three 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 9.7 kilometer so that is our distance so now what are we doing again guys we're just going to use our arc length formula okay so what do we have do i need to write it again guys i'm just going to say distance which we now know three 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 nine point seven is equal to this angle here which is alpha divided by 360 degrees times 2 times pi and 22 over 7 times the radius of the earth which we have which is 6370 so all, the only unknown here is the alpha guys i'm going to rearrange this so this alpha is going to be equal to you multiply this across so 3339.7 times 360 degrees times 7 divide by all this 2 times 22 times 637 so this is going to give you um, 30 degrees guys if you work it out so guys now we know what this angle here is is 30 degrees we can now say the position of c so position of c is what is it going to be equal to well it was at 60 degrees and then it went down by 30 degrees so the angular difference is 30 degrees so that means it's going to be 60 take away this 30 degrees to get here so we're going to have 30 degrees north and the longitude is going to remain the same as 75 degrees west all right guys this is the position of c i'm hoping you're still listening because this is a long question all right guys now we're finally doing the final part of this question so part b we're asked to determine the local time at point c when the aircraft arrived 
So point C is over here, of course. And what I've done, I've listed all the timings. So initial time at B, travel time from A to B, stopover at B, travel time from B to C we have. So what we need to find out is initial time at B, then we need to find the travel time from A to B. Right, so to, in order to do the initial time at B, we need to find the angular difference from A to B. So let's say we know that initial time, so this is local time, okay, at A, this was given as 720 hours. Right, now let me just draw this over here. This is our prime meridian which is zero degrees if you go to east you add more time if you go west you take away the hours and how do we do that i'll tell you in a minute so let's say our point a is over here and our point b is over here a is 15 degrees uh, east and b is 75 Sorry guys, 75 degrees west. So the angular difference here between them is 90 degrees as we know from before. Now, what you need to know is that for every 15 degrees is equal to one hour. Now we've got 90 degrees. So we need to find the amount of time difference. So I'm just going to write this time difference is going to be equal to 90 degrees over 15 degrees, which is going to be equal to six hours. So this mean B is six hours behind A. So let's go ahead and put the time for B. So from 720, if you go back six hours, then you will get 120 hour. So initially, before the aircraft took off, B was one at 120 hours that time. All right, now let's go and find travel time from A to B, guys. Okay, so what do we know? We know speed, the average speed was 910 kilometers per hour. And we know from A to B was 5,005 kilometers. So we are simply just going to use the formula for speed, which is distance over time. If we rearrange this, then you will get time as equal to distance over speed. So time then is going to be equal to 5,005 divided by speed which is 910 and this is going to give you 5.5 hours what's that in minutes hours and minutes that's going to be equal to 5 hours and 30 minutes guys so from a to b it took this flight to get there from a to b 5 hours 30 minutes so we need to add now uh, that was the initial time before the aeroplane took off, it was the time was 120 hour. And now we need to add five hour, 30 minutes. So travel time A to B, you know, it's five hours, 30 minutes, guys. So guys, so we're just going to do cumulative time now. So 120 hours. And then if you, um, if you add this five hour, 30 minutes, what would it be? It will be 650 hours and then if you add one hour 30 minutes that's going to be 8 20 hours and then if you add three hours 40 minutes that would be 12 hours guys so the time the local time at uh, point c is 12 hours all right guys thank you very much for uh, being so patient all this time and please remember to definitely press like for this video if you enjoyed it and remember to uh, subscribe share make comment have a good day bye for now